All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a kid's coloring book using Canva. And you can actually create these and sell them on Amazon KDP or sell them on Etsy, all kinds of good stuff, right? But we're going to go over here and, or you can just create them for your kids at home. But I'm going to type in coloring book right here. And you want to make sure that you're under the templates section. And then you can go and just select a coloring book. So it's really easy uh, right over here. You're going to have different, you can almost glance at the different texts right here as well. I'm just going to pick this first one right here. And let's just say this is going to be like an alphabetic uh, coloring book, right? So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to delete um, these pages right here. And you can see what's really cool about this is that the margins are already done for us. Don't ask me how or what they're supposed to be at, but, um, this is uh, about what it's going to need. You're going to need a little bit of bleed. Um, if you print this on Amazon KDP, uh, it does get really technical, but as long as you have a margin right here or a bleed, then you're going to be just fine. Now, when you go and you add the margins on over here under view settings, and then you add the um, margins right here, it's a little too aggressive. Like the margins come really far in. And so, um, you don't need to uh, to stay that close in the inside, if that makes sense. So I usually um, just know that I can go out about halfway between this margin and that, and that's exactly what this template has this at. So um, I think that they really have this uh, set really well. Let's check and see what they show print bleed. Uh, so you could also use the print bleed right there as well. Okay, so then once you uh, remove these, we have kind of our, our template. So if you want it, you know, done quickly, it's easier just to come in here. You can change the font of the, you know, this could be the title page right here. But then you can be coming over here and you could just say, you know, put uh, an A right here. But we might want to go and change our text. So we might go with like a display text right over here. And maybe we find a text like this. And then we want to go with like an outline right here and the color of the text is white, but then we have our outline right here. So I'm going to go back to out, uh, the effects and we're going to make this outline. Maybe the outline will stick with black right now. We can also make this have like, you know, make the thickness a little bit more and we can go like this and increase our, uh, font. So now we know that we're looking at a, the letter a. And then what we could do is obviously like the classic Apple. We could come over here and go to elements and we could say Apple coloring page. And we could type that in. We can go to graphics over here and see if we can find an Apple. You can get as complex as you want, depending on what the age range or age group is. We can go and click on this. Uh, now, if you have, um, if you're creating a template for other people, you would want to use the free, but since I have pro, I can use the pro graphic right here and I'll just make that like so. So now we have A for Apple, right? And then now from this point on, you could come in here and you have your template just created right here, right? Um, and then what you could do is you can just duplicate this page by clicking that. And then now you just double click in here and you would go ahead and type in your B right there. So you have this really cool font that no one else is using probably. and you know, maybe we want to make this a little bit bigger and maybe we want to move this over like that. And then maybe we want to come over here and just say something like bat. We want to find a little cute bat to put in here. Um, and once you make this bigger, if there's any lines missing, like um, maybe these ears right here where there's it's kind of sketched 3D, we might not want to use that one because it's just not crystal clear. Maybe we, maybe we want to go find another one. And this one might be really good. So we'll just drag that one like so. And then we'll move that one up just like that. So now we have a bat. And then you would just duplicate this page again. And then we would go over here and we would put our capital C right there. And maybe, of course, what, what do you guys think I'm going to go with next? Probably cat, right? So we're going to go and type in cat coloring page. We'll come over here and we'll find a nice cat and et cetera, et cetera. So we can come in here and, you know, and you could get a little fancy with it. You can move this up right here and then we could go over here and say grass uh, coloring page and we can go and grab some grass right here and put that in front of the cat like that if we wanted to. 
uh, get add some more elements and get a little fancy with it. Maybe put this on this side over here, make it smaller, just like that. So now you can kind of add these other elements in here and you could even get even more fancy and add a sun. And maybe we want to add some more elements like this right over here. And maybe we go and we flip this horizontally and just make it a little bit bigger. It's inside the lines. And then there you have this nice unique coloring page that no one else on the planet has created because you created this from scratch using only Canva. Super, super cool. Now they've created so many elements in here now uh, with Canva. You know, a few years ago, they did not have all these graphics in here and now they have just a uh, coloring page galore, right? And then there's finally something else you could do uh, is if you get rid of all this right here, uh, leave a comment below if you want me to do like a, an adult coloring book or, you know, quotes coloring book or some other different ways to create coloring books inside of Canva. But what you can do is you can come in here and grab these elements right here for backgrounds, right? So we can actually drag this just like this. And I'm going to drag this down like so. And then from here, I'm probably going to go ahead and just drag that like that. I like when we can do the full adjustment, but I'm going to go ahead and crop this. And then I'm going to go ahead and just move this in like so, just like that. And then we'll say done. So then now we have this coloring page right here that you could, again, you could go and grab your letter, control, copy, move this over here, control. Um, and then now we are on ABCD. So now we're on D. And maybe I want to move that back um, into the center right there. And then maybe we want to go with dog. So I'm going to go over here and dog coloring page. I want to go grab a dog right over here. And this one will be perfect for what we need it for. So I'm going to go ahead and go like that. I want to maximize it, right? And then we're going to center that right there like so. So now we have a dog coloring page with some really technical backgrounds if you wanted to do that okay so this is how you can quickly create children's coloring books and children's coloring pages maybe pick your best design here and put that as your cover over here and just say you know dog color i mean a a b c d coloring book for kids or something like that right or um alphabet coloring book for kids and you can go and sell this to your audience you can sell it on etsy you can sell it on amazon kdp all kinds of good stuff. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials like this. I'll see you next time.